What's up guys? How you doing? Um, I was editing together a video, uh, my reaction to the uh, Tokyo Game Show stuff, and I had a lot of questions about Classic Mode. Um, so I decided to pull out an app and try to translate it and see exactly what Classic Mode was because it looked like it was taking things back to a turn-based type of mechanic. Um, but in reality, it's kind of more of a combination of the two. Let me show you what um, what I'm talking about. So the first thing I actually wanted to try and figure out was what the menu said. And uh, so I got a translation app and I looked at it to kind of break down everything here because I was really curious about what classic mode was. And so the very general basics of uh, this option is you have your battle difficulty, which is what this menu is, menu cursor memory, Battle cursor memory, just like classic, so you could be able to, you know, just quickly mash through your map orientation, which is how the map is uh, oriented if it's locked in place or if it turns with the way that the camera is facing. Subtitles, the battle font size, which I'm assuming is only going to be damage numbers um, and wording like critical, miss, guard, um, and then your button guide. And that's what was seen up in the upper left hand corner of all of the demos that we saw. So after I uh, kind of broke that down, I went over to this scene because I wanted to see what this was. And uh, it roughly translates to that when the battle difficulty is set to classic in the menu, characters will automatically attack on their own. And I think it's actually, you can even set individual characters so you can have Barrett set on classic mode and Cloud set on uh, normal mode. So that way when you uh, switch over to Barrett, Barrett will attack on his own and only be able to use ATB commands, um, which the second half kind of explains is that when the ATB gauge is filled, you can use the command menu to advance uh, the battle. And that's what that last line meant. It basically means that you can use command menus and issue commands. So it's very similar to the classic turn-based RPG style. If anything, you could probably say it harkens more to like Final Fantasy XII um, in terms of you have an auto attack and then you pick the type of skills and commands and magic that you want to use. The only thing here is that the AI is controlling all of your basic movement, all of your um, dodging, and all of your blocking, and all of your attacking once you get in range to be able to, to pull that off. I don't doubt that there's going to be some type of gambit system as well that will allow you to be able to um, issue certain skills. I think to see this in action if you're not quite fully understanding, um, it's actually shown off pretty extensively and it's actually for the entire Guard Scorpion fight. If before you can see how extensive and how much they're being involved and active in the combat and every button that they're pressing is actually controlling something, what you see here on this end is that the person isn't actually pressing anything, only to bring up the command menu to make selections, yet Cloud is still doing his normal attacks aside from when you tell him to do a certain command. Even Barret in this case, he's not moving Barret. Barret's moving back and forth. He's guarding. Um, he presses the, the command menu to bring up the options for Barret to be able to actually do a skill. So this is 100% turn-based combat in an action RPG because you still have to have ATB gauges fill up in order to do commands. You're just on an auto attack, an auto guard, and an auto dodge, which is almost pretty much the same as the old school RPGs. So I just wanted to share that with you guys um, and uh, just say like, turn base is in this game. There is turn-based battling in this game. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be releasing my reaction video here soon, um, but I just wanted to uh, kind of explain what classic mode was. Uh, so thank you so much, and as always, keep it classic. Yep, and then the summon, the timer goes down. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case, but it makes the most sense. And that just keeps you from spamming summons. And you only pull them out and, like, when it's taking a really long time. Summon ability, so you can, and you can also issue commands to your summon.